Q, did he tell you about his work? No, his I can't believe we day? haven't touched on this yet. He came to work, and he performed very, very well. Me and him were like an oiled machine. Mm -hmm. People who came into the store that day, if that's your only day you ever work, people who came into that store that day and got serviced by us. That was the luckiest day of their lives. They don't even Retail realize wise. how yeah. fucking, how well they were treated. Us as mm -hmm. a team, we destroyed that day, right? Oh, definitely. Like, we right. should be hired to go to other stores right. and show their teams well, how to work. Well, not even stores. <laughs> just like any, any, any aspect. Any business? We can, we can, we'll knock it out of the park. I, I don't understand. <laughs> how did it manifest? Like, what did you guys do that was so... At what point did you finish his sentence and that meant something to a fucking customer? See, this is the thing. Like, the people that were here, like, they they know it. It's it's like, um, you know, how people, like, they see the Virgin Mary in a fucking taco shell or something. Right, okay. They see an image of Jesus on, like, on a wall. It's like, there's no words to explain that, how meaningful that is to that person. Right. So to try to explain it to you, it just wouldn't work. And this is what you're trying to sell to me if, and our listening audience? Were, What's that? This is what you're going to try to sell to me and our listening audience? <laughs> if you weren't here, there's just no okay. way. Like, you missed out on the chance of a lifetime. Mm. Although I will say it was fucking pretty hot here. He kept turning the fucking... At one point, he had it up to 86 degrees, the fucking oh, thermostat. I was like, true. well, you were... No, that is true. That's not true. You, he, he came in... Well, he came in late. That's not true either. The, I was here early. There's no evidence of a well-oiled machine. <laughs> <laughs> well, not in the beginning. <laughs> it was starting off a little rocky. Oh. I got here at... Um, Five to eleven. Got in. He put the lights on. Put the music on. And I have a stomach. Some Cooper. I need to use the bathroom. Right. But I'm waiting for Brian so I can, you know, because I know the door has to be opened up any second. So I'm like, I'll just wait till Brian gets here. I'm gonna try to hold off. So you know what happened? <laughs> you should have hollowed down his leg. No, no, no. So I'm like, at one point, <laughs> I'm like, he was you wearing know brown what? trousers. 11, it was like it was like eleven. It was ten fifty eight, and I was like, I can't wait for him anymore. I'm just gonna have to go take care of biz and then open up. Right. So I I open up so I come back from the bathroom and it's like almost five after, um, ten after. No, according to that clock no. outside, I, well, why would I lie? Why All right, would whatever, I lie? Whatever time it was, <laughs> he's out there waiting and he thinks that like he's got something on me, like he's like I do. You didn't open the door. I, I was in the bathroom. If you had fucking been here on time, I was on time. Though. I was here at twenty of. I was here fifteen well, where minutes. Were you, I was where over you? at Zebo. I was drinking a tea. I was sitting outside, and when eleven o'clock rolled around, I went to the front door. And and there were a couple of customers. We were all waiting. Where's right. Walt? Where's Walt? You know, so you this is what we're asking you walk each other. around the back and see what's wrong with me. You know the lights are fucking on. You know I'm here. I knocked the door. I knocked on the door. I don't know if you were where downstairs. Do you think I'm at? I don't know. I don't know. Help me out. For I, a I know where you God's should be. Sake. I know where you should. Maybe be. you're like he, you know there's something wrong. Um, he, the lights are on. He's like not opening machine? the door. <laughs> I love it. Go in to run, go around to the back. Maybe I got fucking mugged or something. Show like come Somebody around to the ass. back <laughs> and see where I'm at, or at least stick your head in the bathroom. Is that what you want me to do? Oh, you're in there like. Uh, I would have threw the keys out from underneath uh, the fucking stall and been like, here, man. I ate a bad strand of spaghetti. I don't want to touch your keys if you're fucking in there on the bowl. Well, my it's all over my them. Fucking, my, I'm not fucking, my keys aren't in the fucking bowl with me. But your hand's like touching stuff. I would have kicked touching it out to you. Touching feces fossilis. Why, well, you fucking, all of, a sudden that's, all of a sudden that's a turn off now? Feces and urine? No, no, if you pissed on them, I'd be fine. <laughs> but anyway. that, that was our, that, you know what, I would have thought it would have been really rocky after that opening. After getting there, but actually it turned out okay. There was a point where like he was answering phones. He his uh, girl came to see him with his with his niece. niece <laughs> I thought that was a no no. I thought you well didn't... it was. I I didn't know. I, when I first walked in, I was like, you <laughs> "Here we gotta go. Be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. This is this is insane that he can't stay away from her that long." Or, it's, or vice versa. I don't know which one it was. It's true love. It turned bro. out We're it was just love. a lunch. It was God a lunch date, okay. which is, which I thought was cute because you know the kids came to see him. It's good to see you. Like, good for them to see you, you know, working and um, <laughs> not sitting around. Right. And, I think in it's a healthy. Drug case. <laughs> I, I, I think it's healthy for them to see you in, in, in a work environment. You know, like you know, especially your your. I nephew. was ashamed. My nephew, how come? Because he needs to see a male figure in his life, the male figure in his life, uh, doing something and working. It I wouldn't feel day. bad at all about displacing Mike and his wife and his two kids. And <laughs> they have a house payment, sure, but <laughs> I'm Steve Dave. A job that I can take <laughs> and remain indifferent to. Yeah, because you know I'm not going to be like that every day. No, but at the end of the day, <laughs> it's not real busy. It's like five o'clock. The, the rush is is off, and the calls aren't coming in. We're all, it's almost you know we're getting ready to close up. He sits down and starts tweeting. I didn't say anything. I said, you know what? He worked hard. 
<laughs> he should be, you know, I'm not going to be He's that. He's earned the right to tweet. <laughs> He's earned the right to tweet on company time. Um, <laughs> but I didn't say anything. And uh, But you know what? I mean, because it reminded me, like, um, I remember I used to work at Sears. Mm -hmm. um, there, was one, there was one time in my tenure at Sears where there was absolutely, positively nothing to do. Everything had been done. There was like an hour left to work. And my supervisor went through the checklist of like, did you do this? Did you do that? Did you do that? And I was like, yeah, everything's done. She goes, well, follow me because just when you think you're, you've done it all, no, there's always something to do. So I had to follow her with like this look uh, of. I would have went uh, to the cutlery section and fucking stabbed myself <laughs> in the heart. I'd be like, I can't take it. This is good though. already. <laughs> um, and I thought of this when you were tweeting, and I was going to say like, Hey, Brian, could you just make up some bags and boards? But I was like, No, no, <laughs> I got, I don't can't. Push it, I'll Walt. scare him away. <laughs> He'll go running out into a, and I'll never see him again. So my my old supervisor, when I worked at Sears. It was a terrible job too. I had to go at six o'clock in the morning and work till eleven o'clock in the morning. Boy. But so there was nothing to do one one particular morning from ten o'clock to eleven. We had nothing to do, so she brought me into an office that I had never been into before, and maybe sit down at a desk. And she wheeled out out of the closet. She wheeled out this big canvas, industrial sized um, with wheels uh, wash basket. It's mm -hmm. made out of canvas, though. Right. It's like um, oh, like they have in like, oh. uh, like hospitals or something. Yeah. Like they throw all the right. laundry into it, and in it was like. Phones, a dead body. <laughs> answer machines, um, all sorts of like uh, gadgets of the day of like early 90s. And she hands, she goes, take one of those out of there. And I, I don't know. I thought I was going to pack it up to um, send it back to the manufacturer or something. She, I, so I took out an, uh, a phone with like an answer machine attached to it, like one piece. She goes. She when pulls a gun. She goes, answer it. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, um. When you have nothing to do, when there's absolutely everything on your list has been checked and you have nothing to do, we come in here and you sit down and you just pick one of these. Uh, these, these are returned um, broken items. You try to fix them. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I swear to God. And I go, and I, I looked at her. And, your uh, pa bell trying to fix those. <laughs> she goes, you do your best to try to get it to work. <laughs> That is bizarre. Uh, and I, I looked at her and I was like, are you serious? I go, I don't have any tools. And, I, and, and she goes, well, there's tools in this drawer. And I was like a, a screwdriver, a hammer, a Phillips head. And so I picked out a screwdriver and go, you want me just to take this apart? And just, <laughs> just randomly pull wires and, and, and then turn it on and see if it works? She goes, yep. And she looked at me like, yeah, like – don't question me. We both know this is fucking bullshit, but I just can't have you standing you gotta on, do on the floor while, and doing nothing. So just, for God's sake, you idiot. <laughs> and tweeting hadn't been invented yet. No, no, yeah. like you, I couldn't, go, yeah. Uh, I, so I actually took the phone apart and like pulled wires out and um, then put it back together and plugged it in the wall. Lo and behold, like, it didn't work. Yeah, I was like, wow, it doesn't work. <laughs> I did that for an hour. Now I, now I thought of that when you were tweeting. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I felt like a jerk that day. And I don't want to make my, my friend and co-worker feel like that. Well, that was nice of you. Wow. Probably because I would have also been like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Busy work. No way. Uh, so, I'm a yeah. goddamn star retailer. <laughs> <laughs> I will say it was warm in here, though. He was sick, so I thought maybe that might have been it. But even Carol came in and she was like, wow, it's really warm in here. And I'm like, you're turning it up to 86 degrees. I don't know. You know I'm not lying because we came in today and it was turned <laughs> no, up to 82. My, I work my best. At, in a seventy six, no, oh, in a seventy eight degree environment, that's when I have my most like I'm most productive. Yeah. Seventy eight degrees. Yeah, right. That puts me to sleep, man. Yeah, I no. like it chillier. I need to, like, or at least I'm not degrees. sweating through my fucking clothes. <laughs> sixty eight. Yeah, yeah. 65. That's too cold, man. You, I get all sluggish and shit. Oof, it keeps me up. How does the cold make you sluggish? I mean, it's, it's not like you're suffering like from a hypothermia. Shit. Oh, really? Because you're like a fucking reptile. <laughs> 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 we need a heat rock for Walt here. I know. 